Hey everybody, welcome back to my stupid YouTube channel full of my stupid hobby and my stupid projects and my stupid attempts to make said projects work. If you haven't guessed, the stupid f***ing mega tank has sprung a f***ing leak and I've had it up to f***ing here with a stupid f***ing fish tank and it's stupid f***ing inability to hold f***ing water. So we're not doing a big water change, it sprung a leak. Another f***ing leak. In the same f***ing spot as it f***ing leaked last f***ing time it f***ing leaked. What's infuriating me even more is the fact that I've just rescued these f***ing fish from somebody else's f***ing tank that f***ing leaked. And now I need... Now I need to sort it out. I think it's because I told somebody the other day, yeah, Mega Tank's brilliant, it's not leaked, it's been well over a month now. And then I came home, found a puddle. Same f***ing area as the last time. So, yeah, I, 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 I give up. I give up on liquid rubber. I'm almost giving up on life itself. Fish keeping, oh, it's nothing but, oh, it's such a ball ache, a stupid f***ing... <sighs> so, present the video. Yay, disaster. Everyone was right. Liquid rubber is trash. It's not very good. It doesn't work very well. There's something about this specific f***ing corner. Every other corner's fine. It's not even on a slant, it's perfectly level, I don't... I think it's a combination of liquid rubber being just it and a general pressure issue. So when it's full, it's obviously, it's just given up. It's, it's not holding as a membrane. When it's here, it's not leaking at all now. It's completely fine. So... Liquid rubber, it's just not suitable for this application, I guess. Uh, the pressure's too much and it's getting through there. That must be the weakest point, even though I've reinforced that a thousand f***ing times. So it's getting in there. It's, it, it is spreading to other areas, but it's there that it's coming out of. So we need a solution because I have just rescued these fish from someone else's tank who sprung a leak or a bit more dramatically burst. I need to get them somewhere else. I don't know anybody else that's stupid enough to have a mega tank. So, I've bought a swimming pool. Ta-da! Yeah, who doesn't buy a swimming pool for their fish? <sighs> I'm gonna build it here. Uh, so, it's roughly the same size as mega tank, so it should hold the same amount of water. It's obviously not quite as deep. I think it's, so it's 2.2 meters by 1.5 meters by 45 centimeters. So it's like a foot and a half deep. I'll need to use the lids on this to cover it up to make sure the fish don't jump. I'm so, I'm so done with this. I'm going to get the fish out of there. Well, I'm going to build the swimming pool, get the fish into the swimming pool, clean it out, rinse it through a few times, fill it up with water, get the fish in, drain this down. And I've also bought fiberglass materials. So I shouldn't have the fish out of there in this for more than a few days. I need to get this drained down, cleaned out, prepared, fiberglassed, uh, top coated, and we'll try it again. And I mean it, this is the final, 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 final chance for this f***ing fish tank. If this doesn't work, and I know everyone will be in the comments going, you should have done that originally, Graham. Yes, I know I should have done that originally. That doesn't help me now. I want to punch myself, never mind anyone else. If it doesn't work, everything's up for grabs. You want some fish tanks, fish? Let me know in the comments. You can come and take it all away. I don't care anymore, I've had enough. Anyway, I'll do a wee time lapse of this. See if you can have another laugh at my expense of me probably failing to build the fish tank properly. I can't do anything else properly.
Right, stupid swimming pool was built. Bit bigger than I thought, but it fits just about. Filled it up once just to kind of get all the surface gunk off, give it a wipe down, emptied it. I'm going to fill it up and leave it for a day or two now, just in case anything leaches out. I just want to give it a chance. If it's going to leach out, usually it leaches out quite quickly and get most of it out. My plan is only to have the fish in here for a couple of days um, and I quickly run in, as if I do anything quickly, but I quickly get in, get that tank sorted out and then get them back in. Um, the fish are all right in here. Got a couple of sponge filters, it's obviously not enough, but they're still quite, ooh, I'm shrinking. It's going on. Um, there's still enough water volume in there and I can do water changes and stuff. I've got a couple of sponge filters and internal filters just moving water around. They seem okay. Um, but yeah, come back in a day or two. Bye. Okay, day two. Um, I'm just draining down the tank in the swimming pool now. Very, very slowly. So we'll just let that go for the next couple of hours while I consider the life decisions that have brought me to this point. Fair to say I'm not getting much enjoyment out of my hobby at the moment. Uh, so I'll go away and look at some YouTube videos on how to fiberglass things now. So quite unbelievably, the snake head I just rested the, the net in the tank and snake just swam into it so I didn't get a chance to turn the camera on I thought I'm not going to miss this so scooped it out and put it in so Ruthless is in the swimming pool and now I need to catch the peacock bass who saw all this and is hiding in the furthest corner that I can't actually get to now I don't know if you can see him down there he's going no chance I ain't coming anywhere near you Let's see how we got on. See if I can tempt him over. Obviously, normal fish net doesn't do anything, so fishing net is what's called for here at its full extension. Is that its full extension? Uh, it's as good as it gets. Oh, look at that. Straight away. Oh, you don't have to get wet when you've got big fish. And into the pond. Okay. Fish are in the swimming pool. So I'm just filling still filling the swimming pool but there's enough water for them now I'm just basically draining that tank adding some fresh water with this line here I've put in some filters some sponge filters the heaters I'll tidy all this up a little bit later but yeah we've got them out and um, these are the covers so I'm going to cover all this up so they don't get tempted to jump but that should do it for a couple of days We'll get this drained down, dried off, cleaned out, and we'll start the fix. Okay, we're inside Mega Tank now, so unique perspective of what's going on and the rest of the fish room. I think, I think I might have solved the problem. No, that's not true. I think I might have seen the problem. I haven't solved it yet. But I've said that many times before, so who knows? But Closer investigations I suggest is this. So the seam of silicon, where silicon meets liquid rubber, seems to not have held. As I've been cleaning and trying to dry this, I can see the water has got in under this and it's peeling away. So stuck to the glass fine, but not stuck to the liquid rubber fine. I can't see any other obvious points of ingress, so it has to be this. So I'm not going to trust silicon again, 
And this is one of the things the manufacturer I specifically asked, how can you use silicon with this product? And said, liquid rubber will not bond to silicon, but silicon will bond to liquid rubber. And I think this is an example of silicon not bonding to liquid rubber. But if that is the case, at least it can be fixed. So my plan is to fiberglass this. It's really an epoxy resin with some chopped strand matting. I'll put it down in that seam everywhere where I've used silicon to seal it in around the glass. I apply the epoxy, let it set, let it harden. Another coat of liquid rubber just as a top coat. And we'll try that and see if that makes a difference. Hmm. This is the swimming pool, so I'm inside Mega Tank. I've built the swimming pool here. It's a tad inconvenient in as much as it's taking up all the space in the fish room. So it's a proper pain in the bum to feed these fish. But as you can see, the fish are doing okay in there. I've covered it up as best I can and weighed it down. So as if there are any jumping attempts, there's the bass there. And the snake has just gone down here. They shouldn't be able to jump out. So that has bought me some time. I am going to have to leave this to dry out properly, so I'm going to need to leave it a couple of extra days uh, before I start putting the epoxy in, and then a couple of days for that to harden, and then we can get it back filled up. So you're in there for a few more days, fellas. So one of the other options that I've obviously got is to get some kind of box welded liner. Um, I can get one made up to the exact dimensions of this and then I can just cut out the window. Get one made out of butyl rubber. I can use silicon to seal it around the window and around where the intake and outlets are. The reason, I, well, the many reasons I haven't done that this time is it's very expensive. So it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. There's quite a long lead time as well. So I did reach out to a couple of the, the more mainstream manufacturers and because it's Christmas right now and because it's Christmas, they're all shut down. The ones that did get back to me said, yeah, in six to eight weeks, we'll get that back to you. So I'm hoping I can get this done in a week. Have it fail and then go away and order the beautiful liner. Oh. So we'll try this and see how we get on. I'm not going to bore you by waiting for that. Join me in the next video if you want to see the outcome of that. Like I said, it is Christmas at the moment. This has properly peed me off and tested my resolve. I am not in a very happy place at the moment when it comes to my hobby. <laughs> yeah, I, I all but wanted to give up. But these things happen. They are sent to challenge us. It's just, yeah, it's quite difficult. So I'm sorry for all the swearing and expletives earlier in the video. And maybe the more dour than normal attitudes. But no fish are dead. No fish have been hurt. It's been, it hurt my bank balance, I had to buy a new swimming pool. But the fish are okay. Mega Tank is just obviously a project I should never have started. By all means, fill the comments with I told you so's. But at least we've proved it now. You, yeah. you did tell me so, some of you. And you were right. You're not always right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas. Bye.